Well, this weekend, the Portland Highland Games are back at Mount Hood Community College after a four year break. Yeah, they are happening on Saturday and this morning, our very own Drew Carney out and about to give us a preview of the games live from Gresham. Good morning, Drew. Oh my gosh. And there you see you the know, kilt and the Rod legs. Hill had an odd request a few <laughs> minutes ago. It was yeah, odd. Rod asked to see leg and I thought that was odd. Uh, but even when you pan down like Eric is behind the camera this morning, you don't see a whole lot of leg. I actually had to lift the kilt up a little oh bit goodness. to show off a little. Hey knee. now. That is a that is a Rod knee. Rod knee. Uh, <laughs> I see we are live this morning. <laughs> yep. Dad jokes here in the five o'clock hour. Uh, we are live at Mount Hood Community College. The college is once again, as it has for decades now, hosting the Portland Highland Games back this Saturday. Real quickly, I can show you the details. It is Saturday all day. You can come out here and enjoy the music, enjoy the food, enjoy the fun. That is the Portland Highland Games, an event that has been happening here since the 1950s, gang. So there is a long standing tradition and it went away. I mean, it disappeared when the COVID pandemic hit. It went away in 20, 21 and last year, but they're finally bringing it back. I do want to point out real quickly, a lot of people associate this event with the heavy athletics competition. Oh, sorry. That is not going to be a part Rod of this stop. year's mix. So you will not see strong men and strong women throwing big rocks and telephone poles and things of that nature. Perhaps next year, but not this year. This year, the competitions are all musical in nature, fiddling competitions, drumming competitions, dancing competitions, and yes, piping competitions. And that is why we have Andy Burns here. He represents Portland Metro Pipe Band. Again, this is a music competition. You're not racing other pipers in a hundred yard dash. <laughs> no, you're, that, you're, you're musically competing. That would not be a lot of entertainment, but yes. So is it a judging? I imagine there are judges here to judge who are the best of the pipers. Yes, professional uh, pipers who, um, judge um, around the circuit, all around the West Coast and all around the world, really. So I imagine that you feel that you are world class every time you play this instrument. Uh, but what separates you from second place? What makes the champion the champion above all else? Well, uh, clean playing, uh, the right tempo um, and uh, musicality. And then the tone and the pitch uh, of all of the bagpipes together and then how the drum corps meshes with the pipe core. It's very quiet here this morning. It's peaceful. It's very peaceful. Yeah, I'm enjoying my time here at, uh, at Mount Hood Community College. I feel like all the uh, neighbors surrounding us here in Gresham are either sleeping or watching our television program from the comfort of their bed. But let's make it a little noisy, shall we? Sure. Would you play for us again this morning? Sure. Okay. He is Andy Burns, Portland Metro Pipe Band, competing this weekend at the Portland Highland Games as part of the piping competition. As he fires up his instrument, and yes, it does get a little loud, I want to quickly mention that we have friends here this morning, the Rad Coffee Truck. The Rad Coffee Truck already up and about early this morning, and since they came out, I thought I'd give them a little love. Lily, correct? Yes. One of the owners of the truck. Did you put together a couple of drinks for Eric and I? What do you have? We've got a brown sugar cinnamon breve here. And we've got an orange with a splash of blue Raz Red Bull. Red Bull? Yes. That gives you wings, you know. Yes, it does. I'm going to give the wings to Eric behind the camera. I will take this drink as we say goodbye for now, but we're coming back with more. Portland Highland Games preview, part two at 545, gang. Uh, Duncan is another Portland Highland dancer. He will also be competing this Saturday. Um, I was asking earlier, man, is it okay if we had uh, Fiona and Avery dancing during the entirety of this three minute segment? You said that's a lot, Drew. Uh, so what is like a long Highland dance? A, a, a very long one would be like two and a half minutes. Oh, that really? It's really tough. Yeah. What, is it about, what is it about this style of dancing uh, that makes it so physically demanding? It's a lot of jumping. As you could see, it, it's just um, every count, every beat, it's up in the air and back down. And that's very hard on your legs. <laughs> that's why we had him not dancing so that he could actually do this interview with us uh, in this segment. So uh, Duncan, last question, what separates the champions from the non-champions? First from second place in a competition like this. Honestly, it's really little things, just basic like small movements, having a little bit more precise um, positions, uh, just little things like that. It's really close up at the top. I was hoping that Fiona and Avery could demonstrate if, uh, if they can catch their breath, they could demonstrate like a basic yeah. Highland dance move. So uh, sisters, when ready, show it to us. And I'm going to ask you, Duncan, once they get going here, what the heck are they doing exactly? Does this, does this move have a name? Yeah. So uh, this is called potty boss. It's uh, one of the 
first moves that every dancer uh, learns. Um, it's still found in the sword dance, which is the longest uh, dance that was mentioned earlier. Could I have you come over here front and center with me and maybe uh, slowly, if you guys want to take a break, you can, because Duncan's going to show me how to do this kind of in a slow motion sense. Yeah. So you're going to start by just ex extending your foot out to the side, jump into it, bringing your other foot in to there, and then lifting up that back foot, and then to the other side. Give it to me fast, please. Give it to me fast. And give me the pipes, please, when you're ready, Andy. As we wrap it up, keep it going this morning, Duncan. I will join you. <clears throat> Portland Highland Games, returning to Gresham. It's probably best, Eric, if you don't focus on the feet. Portland Highland Games, returning to Gresham. Mount Hood Community College, this Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Check out all the action, the dancing, the fiddling, the drumming, and the piping. There. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Drew, yeah. you are a natural <laughs> dancer coming out in those feet. No, man. he is not. Okay, I'm kidding. Don't but lie to him. Okay, you know what? I just wanted him to feel Don't good. Don't lie to him. Just, <laughs> a for effort, though. Duncan is fantastic. Now, a lot of people uh, associate this event with the heavy athletics competitions. Uh, they will not be a part of this year's event. Man, we haven't seen the Highland Games at all since 2019. Wiped out by COVID the last three years. Uh, perhaps next year, heavy athletics will be back. But this year, the competitions are all about the music. Something I didn't know, Leslie. I thought the fiddle and the violin were two different instruments. You told me no, Drew. That's silly. <laughs> uh, so what you have in your hand is a violin. So what the heck is a fiddle? Um... Well, there's a medieval instrument that was a predecessor of the violin that was called a fiddle. But normally fiddlers play violins today. So the violin is the instrument, but yes. the way you play it determines whether you're violining or fiddling. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> and what is that fiddling business all about? What separates it from traditional violin playing? Uh, the rhythm, the ornaments, and there are traditional tunes and contemporary tunes written today that are uh, in the Scottish style. And there are different styles within Scottish. There's Cape Breton, which is from Canada, which is when the um, Scots and Irish moved over to the east coast of um, Canada. That's Cape Breton style. And there's um, different parts of Scotland have different styles as well. Can I ask you to play me something again? Maybe something slow in tempo like you had earlier, because we're going to show the difference here in a moment, but something slower in tempo, if you would please, Leslie. Leslie playing the violin but doing so in a fiddle-like fashion. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Real quickly before we go fast, the judge you have for the competition on Saturday. Oh, we only have 30 seconds left. You've got a great judge coming Saturday. Can I leave it at that? Rebecca Lobnicki from Berkeley, California. Rebecca, we love you, but I also love the playing. Now can you give me something a little bit faster in tempo? Here we go, fiddling at a faster pace. Well, just go. How about it? What she asked me there behind the scenes was, is the dancer going to join us? Yes, he is. Duncan, come on in here. We wrap it up with the song and the dance. Yes, the Highland Games are back. This Saturday, as a matter of fact, 